Welcome to a brand new podcast, and as always, this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Mr. Grace. For for business inquiries, if you want to put your business on this platform, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Same email if you want to make a donation, a little free will offering, we definitely will appreciate that, evolutionoflondon.com. At gmail.com via PayPal. We have different links to other affiliates. www.linktree.com forward slash Evolution of London. You can support us that way. And we have a Patreon channel which we have videos that is not posted on YouTube. Digital artwork and we have consulting services as well. www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. We on Rumble.com. Yes, we on Rumble. Just type in the Oracle 19. You will see us there as well. So like, subscribe, and share to Rumble.com on the Oracle 19. You can shop online. Yes, shop. Shop to your job. EvolutionOfLondon.com. That's our baby shopping mall where we have a whole wide range of products. Men's kids, ladies clothes, jewelry, cologne, perfume, and much more. So that's evolutionoflondon.com. Also, you can check out evolutionoflondon.org. O-R-G. O-R-G. That's for custom clothes, accessories, e-books for business as well as personal use. And finally, evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. You will find games, yes, games, DVDs, clothes, much more. So evolutionoflondon.store. Check out the company Royalty 9 International. They make homemade candles, 100% soy wax, 12-ounce jars from scented to unscented. Now, the scented candles is from frankincense, myrrh, jasmine, eucalyptus, vanilla, rose, just to name a few. So, if you want to place an order, you can email the company at royalty9international at gmail.com. As well, you can check them on social media, Instagram and TikTok, royalty9international. The luxury candles is over 35 plus burning hours. Very good quality. I have a whole bunch different designs and colors and scents. Very good stuff. Royalty 9 International. Check out Mr. Will. Mr. Will is a consultant. Yes, a fitness consultant for over 15 years. So if you want to book a consultation, you can email him at healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. That's health fitness consultant one at gmail.com and support his merch www.wjaaccessories.com for custom clothes accessories and digital products as well DJ Panthro DJ Panthro is an international DJ so if you want to book for him to come to your venue email him at DJ Panthro 519 at gmail.com Again, that's DJ Panthro P-A-N-T-H-R-O 519 at gmail.com And also subscribe to his YouTube channel DJ Panthro 519 You can find him on Instagram And TikTok DJ Panthro As well as his bonus platform on TikTok 
The Real DJ Panthro. Again, that's The, D-A. The Real DJ Panthro on Tickety Top. Ladies and gentlemen, music, music, music. Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. We have a whole wide range of different beats. So once you go to his YouTube channel, you'll see his other social media sites. So like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube is the Greatness 19 channel. That's our educational channel to open up your third eye. We have a lot of different videos, all, all pretty much close to 800 shows on the Greatness 19 channel. So I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share, and pass the information worldwide because we are allegedly shadow banned by YouTube. Allegedly. So we need you to like, subscribe, and share to the Greatness 19 channel. And on the same page of the Greatness 19 channel, if you scroll down, you will see Mr. Evolution of London, the little engine that could, the hidden knowledge, the hidden gem of knowledge. Like, subscribe, and share to Mr. Evolution of London. We need to get that going, too. A lot of great stuff on health and wellness. Mr. Period Evolution of London. And again, that's on YouTube. I want to give you a warm welcome. Well, I mentioned this company for a few weeks. London Paving Solutions. Yes, London Paving Solutions. The weather is warm. It's getting warmer. It's actually getting delicious. London Paving Solutions are kicking off the 2024 season. The office London Paving Solutions offers two types of services. Yes, two types of services. Residential services as well as commercial services. Now the residential services, driveway ceiling, hot asphalt repairs, new paves, foundation ceiling, Lawn maintenance, such as cutting, rolling, aerating. Commercial services, parking lot ceiling, cutouts, repairs, parking lines. If you're interested, which I know you will, you can get a free estimate by calling the office of London Paving Solutions, 519-697-4637, or the cell phone, 519 702 5712, or you can email the company at London Paving Solutions at gmail.com. Now, the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We are on iHeartRadio, and actually, you can find iHeartRadio on your cable with your cable provider. If you have a lot of you individuals have uh, cable and you have the app on your cable network, such as you can get iHeartRadio app or on your phone. And if you do, which I suggest you should, type in the Oracle 19 on iHeartRadio. You will find us. Over 400 and like 10 shows and, and climbing in 60 countries. As well as Google, Apple, Spotify, Spotify for podcasters. Amazon Music, just to name a few. So any information I I haven't mentioned would be in the description box of those platforms. Rumble.com, just type in the Oracle 19. And finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. All right, well, we got the business aspect of, of things done. So I want to mellow out. And I talked about this indirectly some quite a few shows over time. A culture of right of a culture of raising someone else's children. Yes. A culture of raising someone else's children. Yes. 
we in the era right now, unfortunately, where that's the M.O. Yes. It's time to mellow out. And get very thorough with this. Yes, a culture of raising someone else's child or children. This is the life that we are living here in North America. We we have men especially, obviously, because we usually deal with women that is single moms, which I talk about that on many shows that is not really in our best interest to deal with a woman as a single mom because the modern day woman anyway, she's not and she's not thinking about you, men. You just someone that fills the void for her baby daddy. This is this is how it is nowadays. A cold reality. Let me tell you, if a woman that is a single mom, she's supposed to do twice as much to satisfy a man versus a woman that don't have any children. But the way it's explained and pushed in North America, she's a woman you have to bend to her anyway as well as her children she brings nothing to the table but pain and suffering you not even and I mentioned this you not even number one in her life and I know a lot of women would not want to hear this but this is for you men out here, especially you young men out here. Single, no children. Or you older men out here that been through the wars. Like myself. And I know plenty of you other men, older men that been through the wars. Pain and suffering. You dealt with a lot of single mothers. You dealt with a lot of multiple children, stepdaddies 10 times over, spent money trying to satisfy her and her ungodly children. What did you get out of it, men? Pain and suffering. Or you in it right now what are you getting out of it pain and suffering and this culture they teach you men that you must accept that and you know in some states and some provinces let's say for example that woman is getting child support from her baby daddy. Now you is in her life and that little critter's life or critters. Yes, I said critters. I know you don't like that. I'm being very cynical, but I don't literally mean that, but I mean that. You're dealing with that little critter's life. And let's say you in that little child's life for a year or two. And y'all, and y'all one big happy blended family or somewhat blended family because you taking care of her child and her and you might not have children of your own. Or you might have children of your own. We'll get to that in a moment. In a short moment. It don't work out. 
you get a divorce. It was a common law marriage between you and her. In some states or province in North America, she takes you to court. Mind you, she already getting money from baby daddy number one and maybe baby daddy number two. But wait, you put on your Superman cape. Do, 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 do. And you've been a good soldier to her and her critter or critters. And guess what? She don't want you no more because you're boring. You're not exciting. She, or she don't like your rules and regulations. The little nut. Why I say the little nut? Because in reality, that little critter came from a nut. If you get what I mean. If it wasn't for that nut that the baby daddy bust, there wouldn't have been that little critter roaming around hating you, stepdaddy, Superman, the physical God in their life. But she don't wait, wait, wait. She don't want you no more. Why? Because you boring, you not exciting anymore. She found another person. So guess what? She takes you to court, common law. She, independent of the state or province where you reside, she maybe could get child support for you from you too. So now she get child support from baby daddy number one, baby daddy number two, and now you. Superman. Yes, Superman. That will fight all the men in the world. Put her on a pedestal. But now, just to be taken to court by your queen. And now, that little critter can't stand you anymore because you meant nothing anyway in the first place. Welcome to North America. So she gets support from three different, two to three different men destroying lives. And oh no, oh no, to, to add little fuel to the fire You've been a Superman taking care of her child and seeing her child every day, but you don't see yours. You might have a child from a previous situation, but you spend all your energy and money taking care of this little critter. Some people say this little bastard, but that would be cynical, right? That would be hateful if I said that little bastard. That would be wrong if I said that, right? Or that would be wrong if I said that little nut. That little sperm that now has grown. That hates your guts. Putting all of that energy in the child that's not yours... Meanwhile, you have a, a child that you don't even see or can't.
Is this what you live for? Is this what you dream for? Is to raise someone else's kid that is not yours? You tell me. Is this righteous, ladies? I know you ladies already that have children, you and your feelings. You think greatness, Mr. Greatness is the worst of worst. You might think he's Satan and incarnated all of the whole nine. Or you might say, who hurt me? I bet you got nobody in your life. Blah, 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 blah. Not a problem. You can think what you want to think. No problem. I'm going to still live on until the Most High take me out of this stinking planet Earth. And I'm going to enjoy life the way the Most High have given me that opportunity. But what about you men? You ready to put on your Superman cape? You ready to to die for that single mom? That is not making you number one in her life. Ask her. You be the king of the household. You marry her. You put her up in a better situation. You change her. You change her child. You you upgrade everybody in the house. But would she make you number one in her life? Still, she going to say her child is number one in her life. Even you supposed to be the king of the castle. On a side note, how come the animal kingdom was supposed to have less intelligence than we, but they get it right? You know, in, certain, in the animal kingdom, certain animals... If they got to deal with a stepchild, a step animal, I'll put it like that. That child, that, sorry, that animal is decapitated, destroyed, deleted in animal kingdom. Certain animals will delete a step animal, a step cub. And on top of that, in certain animal kingdoms the gorilla, the lion multiple lionesses multiple female gorillas and you find this within the animal kingdom the male animals have many different mates we say it that way but we supposed to be on the top of the food chain or top of the animal chain. Men have to buckle down and put on a pedestal a single mom because she's a woman. She's just a woman. She's just a woman. When you really look at it, she's just a woman. Now, I know that's triggering. But let's think about it, men. You are really the prize. There's more women out here than men throughout this stinking planet Earth. So guess what? You have options much more than she does. It's built for you to have multiple women. I know, but it's not suggested because now we are bound financially and through our environment, we restrict ourselves. So a lot of times it's not our in our best interest because women is a headache. But is this what you aspire for in life? You really need to check your life, men. A culture raising someone else's child. That's the reality. That's the reality of life.
and that's what's pushed. The women do not respect you, men. They don't. See, especially if you're a single mother, you, I, like I mentioned, you're supposed to do, be twice, do twice as much to satisfy that man because he's taking care of your baggage. You might not want to hear that, but yes, you got baggage. He got to deal with you, your child, your mental issues, his or her mental issues. Got to deal with the baby daddy indirectly or directly. And put you and your child on a pedestal and you and be able to put his life on the line. And I mentioned this on other shows, previous shows. That man got to, you being a single mom, he got to prepare to put his life on the line. And you don't even want to open up your privacy, your history, your information to him. But you expect him to put his life on the line. He, he got to, as a man, you got to be, if that is your woman, you got to be prepared to protect your woman and your family. Your kids, of course, that's part of family. You're supposed to put your life on the line for your family. And you mean to tell me you're not number one in her life? I don't get, give a damn if she had the child before you. You are supposed to be the king. That means the child is not number one. And if it means the child got to go, the child got to go because you are the, the prize man, you are the king, you are the protector, you are the one to put your life on the line for this chick and the least she can do, she can't even put you as number one. In a lot of cases, you number seven in her life or number 10 in her life or number 15 in her life or not even in her radar at all. You just there. To fill a void. Can I get an amen? Praise God. This is what it is right now. And you mean to tell me I or my brethren of men worldwide have to accept that and should accept that and better accept that? No. We got to change our mindsets, men. You got to be a corporation. Take yourself like a corporation. Now, there's a few women out here that are single moms that had caught bad breaks. The father passed away or got locked up or, you know, he just was a bad man in general and she had to dip and start a new life. I'm not talking about you women in that case. There's what I call exception to the rules. So you are exempt for that. I would say the 2%, there's 2% of good single moms out here that is focused and taking care of their children, looking for a decent man, caught a couple of breaks and bad breaks, and they're trying to make amends, and they're willing to give that man, the right man, 110% and make him the leader, blah, 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 blah. We're not talking about those type of single moms. We talking about those single mom bitches out here that have no regard, no respect for the man authority. And if the Lord has have given me the power, it would be But the Lord haven't sanctioned us for that, so we can't do that, of course. But this is a culture of raising someone else's child. This is promoted. 
from media to videos, music videos. You see it in entertainment. Even you have weak men that promotes that. If you have done it, man, or doing it, sir, it works for you, great. God bless you. But I do not think, and I don't think you is thinking that, that that should be a man's aspiring hope in life. He wakes up in the morning and says, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take care of a single mom and her child. Someone that is not fresh and new, that is not brand new. As real men, we always strive to find someone that is fresh and new. Unfortunately, we are in the wicked world. Nothing is perfect. I get it. You try to find someone with the least possible mileage. I, I've been there. we all been there. I get it. Got it. But make no mistake about it. We shouldn't tell our young men growing up that it's okay to deal with a single mom and children. It's all right. Just go for it. Love is love. No. You got to take yourself like a corporation. Men. Women do. They don't just deal with any type of man. They're capitalists. And you women know that. They're going to get the best opportunity, the best man that is in that area. Why not you, sir? It's only right. It's godly. She must respect you. If she is a single mom, she got to, got to, have to, must obey you 200%. Not 100%, 200%. Is non-negotiable because you got a lot at stake. You got to deal with the laws of the land that might screw you over. You got to deal with the baby daddy that might try to screw you over. You got to deal with her that might try to screw you over. And you might have to deal with her kid or kids that might try to screw you over. And you got to deal with society that you already a step daddy, not even blood. Your step, part-time, a maybe daddy, a possibility, a gotta prove daddy. So this is what you want, man? This is what you aspire to be? And all you men that ha be playing the role of step daddy and you got children behind the scenes of your own daddy's blood... It's kind of retarded, actually. It kind of messed up. And this happens to a lot of us. We take care of other people's children. We see the, these other people's children more than we see our own. That is insane. We, and I repeat this again, in a lot of cases, men, we see... Our, we, we see other people's children more than we see our own. We take care of other people's children more than we take care of ours. Men, have this applied to you, man. Are you doing that now, sir? This is a reality. This is a reality. And this must stop because this don't make sense. This is insanity. How in the world are you taking care of a child that, that you're trying to play stepdaddy? you taking care of that child, but you have a child you don't even see. Some of you haven't seen your real child in years, months, years, maybe decades. But you taking care of someone that in reality don't really care about you. Just trying to get what they can get. And then when they get older, they're not calling you daddy. They're not even calling you sir. 
they calling you by your first name. Dave. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it, Dave. No problem, Dave. You're not even called sir. Dad. Forget dad because they know you ain't the dad. They're calling you by your first name, like I said. Thank you, George. George, I'm going out today. It's all right if I could go out, but I think it's okay. Mom thinks it's okay. So it's okay, right, George? George, I'm going to go and see my dad this weekend. Take it easy. By the way, George, you got $5? Thank you, George. Is this... This is the life? This is what you aspire? This is what you hope for? This is the righteous way. Of course women is going to paint a pretty picture saying, oh, you know, it, love is love and it doesn't really matter. And you got some of these mothers that train their sons. It's okay to, because they were single moms, so they justify and say it's okay for you, son, to meet a single mom long as she's a good person. Long she smiles at you is okay. These, this is what a lot of these single moms tell their sons to aspire to get. It's okay because she's a woman. You gotta treat all women like queens, James. This is what it is. This is an insult, should be an insult to you men. You should be insulted by how government and media and politics and everybody else, these weak men, if these feminist women tell you that you should accept that. A culture of raising someone else's children. This is... This is the norm, and it's only getting worse. You men are not respected by women. That is clear. And you can't make someone respect you. That should be clear as well. Respect is how you won't tolerate certain things. And sometimes you just got to walk away. If you're not respected by that woman... You must walk away and don't turn back. No matter how much you had a great time with her, no matter how much physically attracting, attractive she is, but if you're not number one in her life, it won't really matter anymore, right? Respect. She don't respect you. And she will never respect you. So what are you going to do from this point forward? Living in a culture that you have to raise someone else's child and you're not respected. A lot of you men have low self-esteem. You feel you can't do any better. But see, you have to learn, men, that living alone free, being free from the drama and chaos is much better than being tied up with a woman that don't respect you, have hate for you, and her child have hate for you. And you spending money and time for a person that really don't give a goddamn about you. But you keep on trying to force the issue and be that man to be that good man 
in her life and that be that good man for that stepchild that don't have no respect for you and never will. And even make no bones about it by continuing calling you by your first name. Because that's what you are. You just a man that is having sex with his or her mama. That's all you are in a lot of cases. Not a true dad. Just a, a person that is making your mama feel good. But you have no ties to me. And, and a lot of times these children show you. They show you who, who and how they feel about you. So what you going to do from this point forward? It's just something for you to think about. Think about your life, men, and you single mothers. Think about your life. Is it really worth it for you to get in a true relationship? You have a child, you should be cult cultivating and developing the mind of the male child or female child of yours so they don't make the mistakes that you have made. And the first thing you should do, single mom, is look in the mirror and be honest with thyself. You know you have nothing to offer another man. Just, by, just only pain and suffering. You know you can't make that man number one in your life. Don't just because you want a, a quick fix, just he's just good to roll in the hay with you. He's a good to put a person to put money in your pocket. Put money in your child's pocket. But having that philosophy, single mom, is going to give you more pain and suffering at the end. Because there will be an end date. And when the relationship falters, you go on to the next, then the next, then the next, then the next. Now you racked up 25, 50, 75, 100, 200 different men that you rolled in the hay. Hey, hey, hey. Getting nothing out of it. Causing pain and suffering dealing from man to man like subscribe and share to the greatness 19 channel the oracle 19 podcast on all the platforms I mentioned previously iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, Spotify Amazon Music and also subscribe to Mr. Evolution of London and I'm going to leave you with a love song for all of my listeners. A little humor, but I'm going to leave you with a love, a love song because I do like love songs. Yes, even Mr. Greatness could be sensitive sometimes. So I'm going to leave you with a song. I'm going to sing with the help of this gentleman, comedian Corey Holcomb. And this is his song. And you like, subscribe, and share to the Corey Holcomb 5150 radio radio show every what is it? Every Tuesday nights, Eastern Standard Time at 11 p.m. at night. Corey Holcomb. So I'm going to give you the song and I'm going to sing it along with Mr. Holcomb. Now, if you want me to take this off the podcast, I'll, I have no choice but to do it, but I'm giving him props. I like the dude, and I'm going to sing this love song for you. My girl has lupus. For you. Plastic ways of making sure daddy gets his money is appreciated and documented. Ain't never had a hope like you. This song is a 
celebration too. My bitch who got loopers keeps me bad on my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treats me better on oh my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treats me better on oh my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treats me better on oh my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treat me better on oh my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treat me better on oh my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treat me better on oh my hoes. One more time. My bitch who got loopers treat me better on oh my hoes. My bitch who got loopers treat me better on oh my hoes. Dead, dead by a bitch who got loopers Treat me better on my hoes